हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय लास्ट लेक्चर ऑन इवेल्यूशन ऑफ रियल इंटीग्रल्स यूजिंग रेजिड्यूज सो इन दिस लेक्चर अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू कंसीडर टू रियल इंटीग्रल्स व्हिच आर व्हिच नीड डिफरेंट टेक्निक टू फॉर इवेल्यूशन एंड डिफरेंट कंटूर आल्सो इन वन केस नाउ लेट अस कंसिडर फॉर एग्जाम्पल द इंटीग्रल रियल इंटीग्रल जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी कॉस हाइपरबोलिक ए एक्स ओवर कॉस हाइपरबोलिक एक्स डी एक्स वी आर गोइंग टू शो दैट इट्स वैल्यू इज पाई ओवर टू कॉस पाई ए वाई टू वे आर मॉड ऑफ ए इज लेस देन वन सो इन दिस एग्जाम्पल वी विल यूज दिस कंटूर वे आर वी टेक द रेक्टेंगल विद वट इज एट माइनस आर प्लस आर आर प्लस आई पाई एंड माइनस आर प्लस आई पाई सो वी आर मूविंग अलॉन्ग दिस रेक्टेंगल इन द काउंटर क्लॉक वाई डायरेक्शन एंड यू विल सी दैट द करस्पॉन्डिंग कंटूर इंटीग्रल विच वी कंसिडर हियर दैट हैज अ सिंपल पोल एट जेड इक्वल टू आई पाई वाई टू विच लाइज इन द अपर हाफ प्लेन ओके सो दैट इज इन साइड द रेक्टेंगल एंड देर फोर वी कैन मेक यूज ऑफ द रेजिड्यू थेरम टू वैल्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ द इंटीग्रल अराउंड दिस क्लोज कंटूर सो लेट्स कंसिडर दिस क्लोज कंटूर सो कंसिडर द कंटूर इंटीग्रल सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंसिडर द कंटूर इंटीग्रल इंटीग्रल ओवर सी फॉर कॉस हाइपरबोलिक ए एक्स वी राइट ई टू द पावर ए जेड एंड फॉर द डिनोमिनेटर कॉस हाइपरबोल एक्स वी कॉस हाइपरबोलिक एक्स वी राइट कॉस हाइपरबोलिक जेड सो इंटीग्रल ओवर सी ई टू द पावर ए जेड ओवर कॉस हाइपरबोलिक जेड डी जेड वे आर सी इज द रेक्टेंगल हैविंग वर्ट इज एट माइनस आर 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 प्लस आई पाई एंड माइनस आर प्लस आई पाई नाउ एफ जेड इक्वल टू ई टू पावर ए जेड ओवर कास हाइपरबोलिक जेड हैज पोल्स वेयर द डिनोमिनेटर कास हाइपरबोलिक जेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो लेट अस से लेट फाइव जेड इक्वल टू कास हाइपरबोलिक जेड देन वी नोटिस दैट कास फाइव जेड इक्वल टू जीरो मीन्स कास हाइपरबोलिक जेड इक्वल टू जीरो and uh, let us recall that cos i z equal to cos hyperbolic z so then cos hyperbolic z equal to 0 implies uh, cos i z equal to 0 which means that i z equal to uh, 2n plus 1 into pi y 2 where n is equal to Zero plus minus one plus minus two and so on, and uh, so uh, z equal to so z equal to two uh, n uh, uh, plus one into pi y two into one over i. One over i means minus i. Okay, so we can write it as uh, minus uh, n plus half into pi. Okay. This is equal to minus n plus half into pi i. Okay, and n takes values zero plus minus one plus minus two and so on. Okay, now out of these poles. Okay, now let's be, let's see one more thing that find phi prime z. Phi prime z is equal to फाइव uh, जेड is cos z hyperbolic z so फाइव prime z is sin hyperbolic z and uh, sin hyperbolic z is not zero wherever cos hyperbolic z is zero okay so sin hyperbolic is z is not zero at z equal to uh, minus n plus half into pi i okay so at uh, z uh, z equal to minus n plus half into pi i this phi z Uh, this uh, fz has simple poles okay so fz equal to e to the power az over cos hyperbolic z has simple poles at these points okay now out of the points uh, uh, z equal to minus n plus half pi i where n is equal to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and so on okay only the pole pi i y 2 okay Only the pole pole pi i y two lies in the uh, inside the rectangle, okay, uh, bounded by minus r r r plus i pi minus r plus pi i. So we will need to consider the residue only at z equal to i pi y two. So let us find the residue of 
e to the power a z over cos hyperbolic z at z equal to i pi by 2. Now, here it is easier if we differentiate the denominator uh, of e to the power a z over cos hyperbolic z and put z equal to i pi by 2. So, this residue uh, residue of uh, e to the power a z divided by cos hyperbolic z at z equal to i pi by 2 is same as uh, is equal to e to the power a z divided by the derivative of cos hyperbolic z that is sin hyperbolic z and we evaluate it at z equal to i pi by 2. So, this is e to the power a i pi by 2 okay, and sin hyperbolic i pi by 2. Okay. Now, let us recall that sin i z equal to i sin hyperbolic z. So, when you put z as i pi by 2 what we get sin i into i pi by 2 equal to i sin hyperbolic i pi by 2. Uh, this is sin is i square pi by 2 i square is minus 1. So, sin minus pi by 2 which is minus 1 equal to i times sin hyperbolic uh, i pi by 2. Okay, and minus 1 over i is i. Okay, so, sin hyperbolic i pi by 2 is uh, i. So, this is e to the power i a pi by 2 divided by i. Okay, sin hyperbolic i pi by 2 equal to minus 1 over i minus 1 over i is i. Now, 1 over i is minus i. So, we get minus i e to the power i a pi by 2. Okay, so, we get this minus i e to the power a i pi by 2 as the residue of e to the power a z over cos hyperbolic z at z equal to i pi by 2. Now, uh, we write the integral around the contour c. So, integral around the contour c is integral from minus r to r along the real axis that means, we replace z by x. So, integral along minus r to r where z is replaced by x and we get this integral over minus r to r f x dx now going from r to r plus pi i. So, that means that when we go from r to r plus i pi x is constant. So, z will be equal to r plus i y any point z you take on this segment r to r plus i pi z will be r plus i y where y varies from 0 to pi. Okay. So, uh, we will put that uh, here e to the power a z upon cos hyperbolic z that is e to power a times r plus i y over cos hyperbolic r plus i y and when z is r plus i y we have d z equal to i d y. So, we put i d y here and y varies from 0 to pi. Now, when we uh, move uh, along uh, this uh, uh, segment from r plus i pi to minus r plus i pi then you can see that. Uh, uh, now, we will have z equal to uh, because now uh, by is constant x varies. Okay. So, x plus i pi okay. x plus i pi by is equal to pi along this uh, line. So, x plus i pi and x varies from r to minus r. And dz will be equal to dx. Okay. So, let us put this here in the third case. So, uh, x varies from r to minus r e to the power a times x plus i pi over cos hyperbolic x plus i pi dx and then we move along the uh, segment minus r plus pi i to minus r. So, when we move along minus r plus i pi to minus r x is now minus r. So, z equal to minus r plus i y okay, for this z equal to minus x plus r plus i y d z equal to i d y and y varies from pi to 0, y varies from pi to 0. So, here you can see integral over pi to 0 e to the power minus r plus i y cos hyperbolic minus r plus i y d uh, z becomes i d y and then right hand side is by residue theorem 2 pi i into uh, ok. So, we multiply 2 pi i to this residue and uh, 2 pi i into minus i is uh, minus 2 pi i square that is 2 pi. So, we get 2 pi into e to the power a i pi by 2. Okay. Now, let us show that 
the second integral on the right side this one ok. This integral tends to 0 as r goes to infinity. So, mod of first let us evaluate uh, uh, let us take an upper uh, uh, let us take a uh, bound of uh, 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 lower bound rather lower bound for cos hyperbolic r plus i y. So, mod of cos hyperbolic r, r plus i y is mod of e to the power r plus i y plus e to the power minus r minus i y divided by 2 and mod of z 1 uh, plus z 2 is greater than or equal to mod z 1 minus mod z 2. So, we have mod of this plus this greater than or equal to 1 by 2 e to the power mod of r plus i y minus mod of e to the power minus r minus i y. Now, mod of e to the power i y is 1. So, we have, have this as e to the power r ok and this is e to the power minus r. Now, 1 by 2 e to the power r minus e to the power minus r is greater than or equal to 1 by 4 times e to the power r if e to the power r is e to the power 2 r is greater than or equal to this we can easily see let us say let e to the power r be equal to x ok. Then what we want 1 by 2 x minus 1 by x this is e to the power minus r is 1 by x we want it to be greater than or equal to 1 by 4 e x ok. So, what we want uh, this is x square minus 1 divided by x greater than or equal to 1 by 2 x. This means we want 2 x square minus 2 to be greater than or equal to x square and this means x square should be greater than or equal to 2. So, e to the power 2 r must be greater than or equal to 2 r e to the power r must be greater than or equal to root 2 ok. It is not always true ok, but here we are taking r to go to infinity ok. Here we want r to go to infinity. So, this inequality is valid ok. So, 1 by 4 e to the power r is the lower bound for uh, cos hyperbolic r plus i y and then we have. Uh, so, we can now evaluate this integral mod of integral 0 to pi e to the power a plus uh, times r plus i y over cos hyperbolic r plus i y i d y is now less than or equal to now mod of e to the power a r plus i y as we have seen earlier also this is e to the power a r because mod of e to the power a i y is equal to 1. So, e to the power a r for this and this is greater than or equal to 1 by 4 e to the power r. So, 1 upon cos hyperbolic r plus i y is less than or equal to 1 upon 1 by 4 e to the power r. So, this is now equal to 4 pi e to the power a minus 1 into r, but you see mod of a is less than 1. So, e to the power a minus 1 into r ok, this is always e to the power a minus 1 a minus 1 into r is always negative and therefore, this goes to 0 as r goes to infinity. Similarly, we can show that this fourth integral goes to 0 as r goes to infinity, but we do let us consider first uh, a lower bound for cos hyperbolic minus r plus i y. So, mod of cos hyperbolic minus r plus i y let us find. So, this is equal to mod of e to the power minus r plus i y plus e to the power minus of minus r plus i y divided by 2 and this is equal to uh, mod of uh, e to the power minus r plus i y plus e to the power r minus i y. Okay, this is greater than or equal to uh, mod of this uh, let us first take this mod of this minus mod of that. So, mod of e to the power r minus i y minus mod of e to the power minus r plus i y ok. Mod of e to the power uh, uh, this is e to the power r into e to the power minus i y mod of that is 1. So, this is equal to e to the power r minus e to the power minus r by 2. Now, as we have seen here e to the power r minus e to the power minus r by 2 is greater than or equal to 1 by 4 e to the power r. So, here also it is greater than or equal to 1 by 4 e to the power r provided uh, uh, if e to the power 2 r is greater than or equal to 2 ok. So, this is true because r is going to infinity. Now, mod of uh, ok. So, mod of pi to 0 uh, e to the power a times minus r plus i y into d y divided by cos hyperbolic minus r plus i y. This is less than or equal to integral pi to 0 we can make 0 to pi uh, because mod is there. So, we have e to the power minus a r divided by uh, 1 by 4 
e to the power r d theta or d or d y ok. So, d y we have so this is equal to uh, 4 times uh, pi into e to the power minus a minus 1 into r ok. Again mod of a is less than 1 ok. So, this goes to 0 as r goes to infinity because mod of a is less than 1 ok. So, this is how we show that this integral ok and this integral they go to 0 as r goes to infinity. Now, as r goes to infinity what we have integral over minus infinity to infinity f x dx plus integral over infinity to minus infinity this uh, dx equal to the residue that is uh, we found that to be this one. So, integral limit r tends to infinity minus r to r e to power a x cos hyperbolic d x plus integral over ok. Let us see how we get this uh, ok. Here uh, you can see when r goes to infinity this equation this equation gives you integral over c fz dz we found 2 pi i times this and 2 pi i is minus 2 pi i square means 2 pi times e to power a i pi by 2 ok. So, 2 pi e to the power a i pi by 2 is equal to minus infinity to infinity f x d x plus integral over infinity to minus infinity ok e to the power a, a x into e to the power a i pi d x divided by cos hyperbolic x plus i pi. So, this gives you uh, this equation limit r tends to infinity this equation we get here e to the power a i pi in integral minus r to r e to power a x cos hyperbolic d x now can be changed to integral over infinite minus infinity to plus infinity because cos hyperbolic x plus i pi is equal to minus cos hyperbolic x ok. So, this is here limit r tends to infinity integral over minus of r, r to r e to power a x d x over cos hyperbolic x plus e to the power a i pi integral over minus r to r e to the power a x over cos hyperbolic x plus i pi and cos hyperbolic x plus uh, i pi is equal to minus cos hyperbolic x this we can see cos hyperbolic z is equal to e to the power z plus e to the power minus z by 2 ok. So, cos hyperbolic x plus i pi is equal to e to the power x plus i pi plus e to the power minus x minus i pi divided by 2 and e to the power i pi is minus 1. So, minus e to the power x e to the power minus i pi is also minus 1. So, minus e to the power minus x divided by 2 this is minus cos hyperbolic x. Okay. So, this is minus cos hyperbolic x. So, this will become what integral over minus infinity to infinity e to power a x d x over cos hyperbolic x plus uh, integral over minus infinity to infinity ok. Integral over infinity to minus infinity it will be like this. This will be integral uh, uh, this is integral over minus infinity to infinity e to the power a x d x upon cos hyperbolic x. A plus e to the power a i pi integral over infinity to minus infinity. This will be integral over infinity to minus infinity e to the power a x d x upon cos hyperbolic x plus i pi ok. This is equal to 2 pi e to the power a pi i by 2 ok. Now, because uh, cos hyperbolic x plus i pi is equal to minus cos hyperbolic x we can write it as uh, integral over minus infinity to infinity uh, e to the power a x d x divided by cos hyperbolic x equal to 2 pi e to the power a i pi by 2 divided by 1 plus e raise to the power a pi i ok this is what we get. So, uh, now what we will do uh, this will break into two parts 
इंटीग्रल ओवर माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू जीरो e टू दी पावर ए एक्स डी एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई का साइपरबोलिक x प्लस इंटीग्रल ओवर जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी e टू दी पावर ए एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई का साइपरबोलिक x dx एक्स ओके इक्वल टू टू पाई e टू दी पावर ए आई पाई वाई टू बी कैन डिवाइड इन दी नोमिनेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर बी गेट ई टू दी पावर माइनस ए आई पाई वाई टू प्लस ई टू दी पावर ए आई पाई वाई टू ओके सो दिस इज टू पाई डिवाइडेड बाई ई टू दी पावर आई थीटा प्लस ई टू पावर माइनस आई थीटा इज टू कॉस थीटा ओके टू कॉस ए पाई वाई टू ओके सो दिस वी कैन कैंसल वी गेट पाई ओवर कॉस a pi by 2 okay now here what we do on the left side replace x by minus x in this integral okay then what we will get uh, e to the power minus ax here this cos hyperbolic minus x is uh, cos hyperbolic x and dx will become minus dx so the limits of integration will change uh, to 0 to infinity so we get 0 to infinity e to the power minus ax dx upon cos hyperbolic x when we replace x by minus x in the first integral plus integral 0 to infinity e to the power ax dx over cos hyperbolic x equal to pi over cos a pi by 2 okay so this is left hand side is uh, what uh, we get left hand side as 0 to infinity e to the power ax plus e to the power minus ax divided by cos hyperbolic x e to the power ax plus e to the power minus ax is twice uh, cos hyperbolic ax divided by cos hyperbolic x dx equal to pi over cos a pi by 2 okay so we get the value integral 0 to infinity cos hyperbolic ax over cos hyperbolic x dx equal to pi over 2 times okay this 2 we can bring here so 2 be pi over 2 times cos pi a by 2 so this is how we get the value of the integral using residue calculus okay so let us now consider another real integral uh, which is integral over 0 to infinity ln x square plus 1 over x square plus 1 dx and we will show that its value is pi ln 2 okay now let us consider the corresponding contour integral here we shall take as integral over c ln z plus i for ln x square plus 1 we shall be writing ln z plus i over denominator when we have x square plus 1 we write again x z square plus 1 there is change in the numerator in the numerator we simply do not replace x y z we rather consider ln z plus i so integral over c ln z plus i over z square plus 1 dz around the contour c consisting of the real axis from minus r to r so that contour is same as we have been considering earlier so minus r to r and uh, this is uh, zero origin a semi circle gamma we are moving anti clockwise and then uh, the function fz which is ln z plus i over z square plus 1 it has a simple pole okay uh, it has actually poles uh, simple poles at z equal to plus minus i this gives you z equal to plus minus i but out of these two simple poles only one pole at z equal to i lies inside c okay so we will consider the residue of fz at z equal to i only so let's uh, find the residue uh, residue of fz at z equal to i okay so f residue of fz at z equal to i let us find so fz is uh, ln z plus i divided by uh, z square plus 1 so we can differentiate the denominator the denominator derivative is 2z ln z plus i and then you put z equal to i so what we get ln 2i divided by 2i okay because we are writing for z we are writing i so ln 2i over 2i now ln 2i is equal to ln mod of 2i plus i times argument of 2i okay and uh, you see 2i is here okay 2i is the point 0 2 on y axis okay so argument of 2i is uh, pi by 2 okay this is pi by 
So, we have uh, ln uh, mod of 2 i uh, this is uh, mod of 2 i is 2. So, ln 2 plus i times pi by 2. Okay. So, we have here now what we have integral over c ln z plus i over z square plus 1 dz is 2 pi i times uh, 2 pi i times this is equal to integral over c ln z plus i dz over z square plus 1 this is equal to 2 pi i times the residue of f z at z equal to i. So, this is 2 pi i times uh, ln 2 plus i pi by 2 ok ln 2 plus i pi by 2 divided by 2 i ok. So, divided by 2 i. So, we get this. Uh, so, we get pi times ln 2 plus i pi by 2 ok. So, we get this using we are using here principal value of the logarithm. Now, uh, now we can write the integral over c ok integral over c f z d z equal to integral over minus r to r f x d x because we are moving along real axis plus integral over gamma f z d z. Let us take this r to be so large that the pole at z equal to i lies inside the uh, contour. Okay. So, by residue theorem we will have uh, minus r to r integral over minus r to r ln x plus i we are moving along x axis. So, ln x plus i over x square plus 1 dx plus integral over gamma ln z plus i over z square plus 1 dz equal to pi ln 2 plus i pi square by 2. Okay. Now, this integral uh, when r goes to infinity when r goes to infinity we shall show that integral along gamma goes to 0 and this integral becomes integral over minus infinity to infinity ln x plus i over x square plus 1 dx we will break it into two parts. So, integral over minus infinity to 0 and then integral integral over 0 to infinity. So, integral over minus r to 0 ln x plus i over x square plus 1 dx plus integral over 0 to r ln x plus i over x square plus 1 dx plus integral over gamma uh, ln z plus i over z square plus 1 dz equal to pi ln 2 plus i pi square by 2. And this we can write as uh, integral over now here replacing x y minus x when you replace x y minus x, but you get ln i, I minus x over x square plus 1 d x becomes minus d x. So, the limits change to 0 to r. So, integral 0 to r ln i minus x over x square plus 1 plus integral over 0 to r ln x plus i over x square plus 1 d x plus integral over gamma ln z plus i over z square plus 1 d z is pi ln 2 plus i pi square by 2. And then what we do uh, we can combine this integral and this integral. Okay. So, noting that ln i minus x plus ln i plus x this is equal to ln i minus x into i plus x. So, what we get ln minus 1 minus x square which is equal to ln minus 1 plus ln 1 plus x square ln minus 1 minus 1 lies on the real axis here. Okay. So, the argument is pi. Okay. So, ln minus 1 equal to ln e to the power i pi its magnitude is 1 okay. and magnitude of minus 1 is 1. So, this is i pi. So, what we get this is equal to i pi plus ln 1 plus x square. So, this plus this okay, is ln 1 plus x square plus i pi. So, we write integral 0 to r ln 1 plus x square over x square plus 1 plus integral over 0 to r i pi over x square plus 1 dx and integral over gamma ln z plus i over z square plus 1 dz equal to pi ln 2 plus i pi square by 2. Okay. Now, as r goes to infinity uh, as r goes to infinity this integral goes to 0. So, what do we get integral over 0 to infinity ln x square plus 1 over x square plus 1 what we get here this becomes this integral becomes 0 to infinity ln 1 plus x square over x square plus 1 dx and this becomes integral over 0 to infinity i we can write outside pi over x square plus 1 dx and this is 0 equal to pi ln 2 
प्लस आई पाई स्क्वायर बाई टू ओके सो इक्वेटिंग रियल पार्ट बोथ साइड दिस इज लेफ्ट साइड वी हैव दिस रियल पार्ट सो दिस रियल पार्ट इज इक्वल टू दिस रियल पार्ट ओके एंड दिस इमेजनरी पार्ट इज इक्वल टू दिस इमेजनरी पार्ट सो यू कैन सी ऑल्सो इंटीग्रल जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी पाई ओवर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन डी एक्स इज आई इंटू पाई स्क्वायर बाई टू बिकॉज दिस इज पाई टाइम्स इंटीग्रल जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी वन ओवर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन डी एक्स विच इज पाई बाई टू ओके सो वी गेट आई पाई स्क्वायर बाई टू सो दिस इज इक्वल टू दिस एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू दिस एंड वट वी गेट हियर इंटीग्रल जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी एल एन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन ओवर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन डी एक्स इक्वल टू पाई एल एन टू एज आर गोज टू इन्फिनिटी नाउ लेट एस शो दैट इंटीग्रल ओवर गामा एल एन जेड प्लस आई ओवर जेड स्क्वायर प्लस वन डी जेड गोज टू जीरो एज आर गोज टू इन्फिनिटी सो लेट एस फाइंड दी मॉडल ऑफ एल एन जेड प्लस आई डिवाइडेड बाई जेड स्क्वायर प्लस वन मॉडल ऑफ दिस सो दिस इज मॉड ऑफ एल एन जेड प्लस आई डिवाइडेड बाई मॉड ऑफ जेड स्क्वायर प्लस वन दिस इज लेस देन आर इक्वल टू दिस इज मॉड ऑफ जेड स्क्वायर माइनस वन एंड एल एन जेड प्लस आई एल एन जेड प्लस आई इक्वल टू एल एन मॉड ऑफ जेड प्लस आई ओके मॉड ऑफ जेड प्लस आई प्लस आई टाइम्स argument of z plus i okay mod of z plus i is uh, less than or equal to mod of z plus mod of i okay so this is r plus 1 okay so this is less than or equal to uh ln r plus 1 okay and here what we will get uh, i times 2 pi because argument of z plus i cannot be more than 2 pi if we are considering uh, principal value of the logarithm so we get here uh, ln r plus 1 plus 2 pi uh magnitude of this let us put magnitude of this and then here we can write magnitude uh, let us take mod of ln uh, z plus i so mod of ln z plus i is mod of ln mod of z plus i plus i times argument of z plus i ln mod of z plus i is less than or equal to ln r plus 1 and mod of this is less than or equal to by triangle inequality mod of mod of ln z plus i plus argument of mod of argument of z plus i argument of z plus i cannot exceed 2 pi okay so this actually we are using here uh, triangle inequality i can say uh, uh we are using here this triangle inequality uh here we are using mod of z1 plus z2 less than or equal to mod of z1 plus mod of z2 okay so this is ln r plus 1 plus 2 pi over r square minus 1 Uh, r square minus one. Okay, uh, along gamma. Uh, now what we have uh, so mod of thus mod of ln z um, integral over gamma ln z plus i dz divided by z square plus one. Mod of this is less than or equal to ln r plus one plus two pi divided by R square minus one into length of gamma, that is pi r. Okay. Now we can write it as ln r plus one divided by r plus one plus two pi divided by r plus one into pi r divided by r minus one. Okay. Jab when r goes to infinity, uh, pi r over r minus one goes to pi. Okay. So this goes to pi. Now inside the bracket, two pi over r plus one goes to zero, and ln r plus one over r plus one also goes to zero because ln x over x goes to zero when x goes to infinity. Okay. So this goes to zero as r goes to infinity. So this is how we show that this integral goes to zero as r goes to infinity, and thus the integral over zero to infinity ln x square plus one over x square plus one dx is equal to pi ln two. so with this we come to the end of this lecture 
and we have finished the uh, ev uh, discussion on uh, evaluation of real integrals using residue theorem. Thank you very much for your attention.